going live not only here on Facebook, but also over on YouTube today. So if you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to ask those in the comments. We will try to answer them as we go. I have Owen here and he's going to read them. Please give me a thumbs up or a heart if you can hear me well. We're working on trying to get our um, microphone system working. And so we've been struggling just a little bit with that. Um, so we're trying. So um, we are going to make an arrangement for a birthday. And this one we're going to use this, this pretty container. It's fresh water, fresh floral food in the container. Um, and we are going to go ahead and make a pretty all the way around arrangement to sit on a coffee table for a birthday. I'm gonna start out using some leather leaf. Um, I'm gonna take this leather, I'm gonna cut that stem at an angle and I'm going to tuck it right into my container. Oh, and is everything looking right? It's looking good and it sounds okay. And it done. sounds okay? All right, we're keeping our fingers crossed that this works today. When you come on, please tell us hello. Tell us how you're doing today and where you're from. We love to know those things. Um, so I'm just taking this leather leaf, I'm cutting it and tucking it right into the base. And what it's doing is just kind of giving me a good base um, for the arrangement. So you can kind of see, I've just greened it all the way around. I have lots of other pretty greenery that we'll put in in the end. I've got some, um, this is silver dollar eucalyptus, and then we have some baby blue eucalyptus, or it's also called spiral eucalyptus. So some pretty spiral euc. We're gonna start out with some white hydrangeas as our base. Um, so I'm gonna take this hydrangea, I'm gonna pull my plastic sleeve off and remove any of the foliage. I'm gonna kind of fluff it because it's been stuck in that little bag in the cooler. So I just kind of fluffed it. I'm gonna take my knife and I'm cutting that stem at an angle and then I'm dipping it in what we call quick dip. I'm gonna count to about seven or so, and then I'm gonna drop that right down into the vase. Oh, and is anybody commenting? We are, give me just a second. So Owen is our tech guy. He has to keep us, we're trying to figure this out, and we do better when Owen's here. So he's gonna figure this out. We'll get it one day. So I'm taking my second hydrangea, cutting it at an angle, sticking it in that quick dip and counting to seven and just tucking it right in. Now what those hydrangeas do is number one, they give me a good base. Number two, they are going to help um, give us a front and an all the way around appearance. Next we're gonna come in with some purple or it's kind of a lavender colored stock. I've got um, several stems of that. You're saying they can hear us fine. You can hear us good, yay, that's wonderful. So I'm taking that stock, stripping off that foliage. We might need to make sure that the girls know that there might be somebody here. Hey, Robbie. Yeah. There might be somebody here, go check. I just heard the door. Oh, okay. It was just Todd. Okay, so there is our purple stock. I tucked right into that arrangement. Miss Alexandra says hi from Australia. Hello, welcome. I'm so glad you're here today. So this is Solidago. So I'm gonna, what I'm trying to do is make sure that I have enough of these flowers in here to give us a good grid so my other flowers will stand up. So I'm taking that Solidago, cutting it at an angle and tucking it in. And this tip, out of the the top of it the tip was broken so I just pinched that right out. Miss Levine from YouTube asks what do you put in water for food? So we actually have a powder that we use for flower food. How cool is that that you can read YouTube and Facebook? That's awesome. Um, sorry we're learning. Um, so we have a powder that we get in and um, and we just put it in the water. Now, it the powder includes um, 
like something that kills bacteria. So something along the lines of just a, a touch of bleach to kill the bacteria. It also has um, a sugar in there that helps to feed the flowers. Now, if you don't have the powder packet that you can get with fresh flowers, you can always make your own. And how you're gonna do that is put about a tablespoon of Sprite or a sugary, um, the reason you like Sprite, we like to use Sprite is because it does have the lemon and it has the sugar. So you don't want sugar free, you don't want diet anything. We like a clear, um, a clear Sprite because it's not gonna discolor your water. And then a couple of drops of bleach and that will kill the bacteria that might grow in your arrangement or in your vase. So next I'm gonna come in with my blue delphinium. Some of these little um, buds are broken on the bottom, so I'm just pulling those off. Cutting that stem at an angle and tucking that right into that vase. Miss Kenda says hello from New Mexico and Miss Annetta says hello from Ireland. Hello, hello, thank you for being here. So I'm gonna take this blue delphinium and I'm just kind of tucking it in that vase. I'm gonna turn this arrangement around for you so you can see that it's actually pretty on both sides. Next, I have some yellow Gerbera daisies. So I'm going to take, and these are almost, um, they're kind of a mustard color, a deep colored yellow, not a, um, not a soft yellow. I'm gonna take a couple of wires, and this is just florist wire that I cut into um, thirds, um, and it's 21 gauge. I'm gonna take it, and I am just going to wire the head of this Gerbera. Now, when you wire Gerberas, you have to be careful. Um, they don't like to be manipulated very much because you're gonna pop their heads. They're pretty brittle. So, this is just going to help me kind of control this flower a little bit in this arrangement. So I wired it and I just pushed the wire right there into the disc of the flower and then wrapped it all the way around that stem. I'm cutting that stem at an angle with my floral knife and I am just tucking that right down into that arrangement. I'm gonna take this straw. So most of the time our Gerber daisies come with these large green just like a regular drinking straw. Um, I pull that off and then I add that wire to that disc and just wrap it around. Um, the, audio's, the audio is cutting a little bit, but okay. we're, that's just, well, I'm gonna get a new mic. Okay, okay, but they can hear me still pretty good? Mm -hmm. Okay, they can hear you. They so can hear I wired it and I am going to cut that stem at an angle and I am going to tuck it in. The reason I like to pull those um, straws off those flowers is because that straw is real green and it shows up in the water and I don't like that so I pull those straws off and then it's hard to manipulate their heads um, if you leave those on. Next I'm going to come in with these really pretty um, yellow roses. So I am not exactly sure the variety of this rose but it is so so pretty. It's pretty close to the color of the yellow in that Gerbera. The wonderful part about these roses is, I don't know if you can see the inside of that petal, but it's kind of orangey on the inside. I am removing some of the petals that don't look pretty, that have bumps or bruises. And then I'm going to take another piece of that 21 gauge wire. I'm gonna press it right here into that calyx and I'm gonna twist that right around. Okay, so I fixed the mic. You fixed it. But it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep an eye on it and I can fix it when I need to. Good, so okay. Just, but it sounds good right now. Good, I am cutting that stem at an angle and I'm tucking that yellow rose right down into that vase. Now usually when I use roses and I tuck them down deep in a container like this or in an arrangement, I don't always wire them. Um, but I'm wiring these today. <laughs> and the reason I don't wire them when I cut them that short is because they don't have quite as far to drink. So think of the stem of a flower as a straw. This is a whole lot of straw for, uh, for that flower to drink. Can you um, hear me? Miss Debbie says, from, uh, I'm sorry, Miss Levine from YouTube says when putting the flowers, you're putting them in sets of three in odd numbers. I like odd numbers 
I do. I don't do evens. And the reason I like odds, now you'll see I have two Gerber daisies, but they're not side by side. Um, I have two roses, but they're not side by side. Odds just look better visually. And so that's the reason I'm using odds, especially with line flower. If I had done just two of the blue delphinium, for me personally, it's going to look like antenna on a bug. And so that's why I like to use odds. Visually, it looks better. And then the reason I don't have those Gerber daisies side by side is because they look like eyes looking back at you. So anytime you make an arrangement, always stand back and look at it. Um, if you look at it and you, most of the time when you're designing and you're this close, it's hard to see exactly what it needs and what needs to change. Um, so always stand back and look at it. Even take a picture. You can always see your flaws in a picture. Next, I'm gonna come in with some peach colored Hypericum berries. Hypericum berries are also called coffee berries and they come in lots of colors. Today, we got in a box of mixed colors of Hypericum and this pretty peach was in there. So I'm gonna take and, and tuck a couple stems of this pretty peach Hypericum. And I'm going to move this Gerber that's on the other side. And the reason is, is I had it higher in the arrangement than the rose. And it's a bigger flower than the rose. So visually, it didn't look as good. So I moved it and I will turn it around and show you the reason. So see how this is a bigger flower, visually that's a larger flower. So I moved it lower in the arrangement than the rose because it's visually, it's heavier. Um, They're saying everything looks good and sounds good. Yay, I am so glad. So next I'm coming in with a little bit of Veronica. I have used Veronica a lot this week in our videos and it's because we got it in this week and so it's fun to work with. It, it's kind of like, a filler flower. I mean, it's just a little happy flower. It's not very large, but it's kind of fun and whimsical. So I like to tuck that in. Veronica comes in several colors and here in Mississippi, it grows beautifully in your flower bed. So it's a beautiful um, flower that you can grow here in zone seven and it would be a good cut flower. So I tucked that Veronica in. Next, I'm going to come in with a little bit of green dragon and someone asked about the green dragon yesterday and I'm not I can't remember what they asked but I'll go back and read that comment um, and try to answer your question um, green dragon is it's we order it as a foliage but really to me it's very much a filler um, it just kind of gives you an airy filler flower look So I'm just going to tuck it around in this arrangement. Now the one thing that I do not love so much about Green Dragon is it is not drought hardy. So you can't use it in flowers to wear or flowers to carry. It does. It's not happy out of water. So it has to be used in an arrangement that has a really good water source versus um, any, it just won't, it's going to wilt if it's not got a good water source. So it doesn't make pretty corsages or boutonnieres or bouquets, which I wish it did, but it doesn't. So you have to use it where it's happy, right? Okay, so I added some green dragon. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of eucalyptus around the edges. So this is some silver dollar eucalyptus. Okay, they're saying the picture is small, but if they turn their phone sideways, they should be able to, because I just pulled it up on my phone, and if you turn it sideways, you can see the full. Okay, so on Facebook, usually you're used to seeing me up and down, so you see me closer up. If you'll take your, your phone and turn it on its side, you're gonna see me larger. Um, I know that's, that's hard, but um, if you'll just flip that camera on its, I mean that 
that phone on its side, it's gonna help you to see me larger. All right, let's see. As a finishing touch, we're gonna add some of this spiral eucalyptus or baby blue eucalyptus. Now, traditionally, um, when you think of eucalyptus and the fragrance of eucalyptus, this is the eucalyptus you're thinking of. Um, I'm gonna take that and cut it as a, at an angle, and I'm just gonna tuck it in and give us just a little bit more whimsy to this arrangement. Now, I realize this eucalyptus is not for everybody. The fragrance can be overwhelming, but it sure is pretty to me. Miss Levine from YouTube says, thank you for answering her question. Of course, of course. I'm so glad to answer your question. Thank you for asking. All right, guys, there we have it. There is our arrangement. This is actually going to sit on a coffee table. And so we needed flowers all the way around. So Miss Dawn says she really likes the yellow and the uh, purple. In the, I think that's such a pretty color scheme together, isn't it? I added that little hint of um, the peach and it's got that blue, um, but she is very much a yellow. The lady who ordered it loves yellow. Um, she's kind of like me, that's her favorite color. And then she wanted it springy and fun, and so that's what we did. She didn't want it too compact, she wanted some airiness to it, and I think that we did that with our lime flower. But there we have it, there is our, here comes Osa. Hello, friend. Can you, okay, hello. How are you? Silly guy. So here is our Osa. I don't know if y'all have met. Um, this is our Osa boy. You, if you've watched us at all on Facebook, you have seen our, um, he's our stray that decided to, to love us. And you see how comfortable he is. He just gets right up here on the design table and just helps us out. All right, guys, thank you. Thank you for being here. Owen, are there any more questions that we need to answer? Uh, Miss Dawn, figured out how to turn her phone to the side so she can see us full screen. So you see us full screen? So Good. A lot of people were having trouble with that yesterday. Just make sure you turn it to the side and there's going to be a little square in the bottom of your screen that if you tap, it helps you go. It helps. Screen. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Owen. Thank you. Are there any more questions? Um, I don't think so. I think we're good to go. Guys, thank you so much for being patient with us. We are trying to figure it out, and I promise we're going to get it. <laughs> it's just taking a little time. We just feel like that it's going to be so beneficial if we can do two lives at one time and be able to go on two different platforms. We think it's going to be a wonderful thing. It's just going to take a minute to figure it out. Guys, thank you so much for being here with me today. If you have any more questions or comments, please be sure to drop those down below. You know, I'll try to come back and answer them. We hope you have a wonderful afternoon.